Uh, let's take question 8-46 on page 829 of the Jefferson Study Guide and look at the question. Just quickly glance through the question and see what information they give. What is the effect of a temperature increase from 25 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit on the density altitude if the pressure altitude remains 5,000 feet? So we know from our density altitude chart that we're going to need the pressure altitude. That's that diagonal line. And they give us the pressure altitude. So I write it here. Pressure altitude equal to 5,000 feet. Good. Now, what is the question asking for? It's really asking for the density altitude at 25 degrees Fahrenheit. They really should have written that here. 25 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, we need to find density altitude at 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and we need to find the density altitude at um, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to go to that chart like we did in my last example that I made up. There's the chart. And we'll just plug in our numbers. The first thing they ask is that we know that it's the 5,000 foot pressure altitude. So I know we're dealing with which line? This diagonal line. This 5,000 foot thick diagonal line. So we know that we're going to have, we, we're given two temperatures. We're going to take each temperature and track up to that line, then look to the left to see what the density altitude is. So let's start at the 25 degree. They said that 25 degrees, so that's this line right here, 25 degrees, see where it hits the 5,000 mark. Again, I pull out a magnifier, and it looks like it's hitting one one and a half boxes below the top thick line here. So that means it's not 4,000, it's not 3,900, it's 3,850. So I'd say the density altitude is 3,850. So I go back to my chart, to my table that I'm writing here, and write 3,850 what? Feet. Always include your units. Now we have to do the same thing for 50 degrees. So we go to the 50 mark. We're still going to use the 5,000 foot pressure altitude that's given in the question. And you, you just track up to the 5,000. So it looks like the 5,000 hits, looks like it hits right on the dark line. Ah, that makes life easy for us. So we track across, and it comes to between the 5 and the 6, so that's 5,500. So it's 5,500 is the density altitude. So we write 5,500 feet. That's the density altitude for the 50 degree mark. Now let's go back to the question. The question says, what is the effect of a temperature increase from 25 to 50 on the density altitude? All right, so they basically want to know the difference between the two. So they forced you to find what the density altitudes are for each temperature. Now all you have to do is subtract one from the other. So normally I use a calculator because there's less, well, let's use a calculator. I'm tempted to do it by hand, but I find a calculator allows for less error. So let's put in the numbers. So it's 5,500 minus 3,850 gives me a difference of 1,650. So which number matches? And let's see, 1,650. 1,650 feet. I broke my own rule. 1,650. And the answer is indeed 1,650. See, it's very simple. When we do the next questions, all they do is, instead of just easily giving you the pressure altitude, they'll give you other information that lets you calculate the pressure altitude. Then once you have the number, you go to the chart, just like you did now, and find the answer. But we'll get to that in the next question, or the next questions.